I am back in my kitchen and I want to share this gadget with you that I found on Amazon. It is an Hamilton Beach oatmeal cooker. Now this oatmeal cooker kind of runs on the same premise of a rice cooker. In fact, you can cook rice in this. It has a lot of the same things that you would see in a rice cooker. It's got the ceiling ring. It has the inner pot with a non-stick coating. It is three cups and it's adorable. Here are the vents for the steam to escape. Now I'm going to lock this with the handle. Now it's all locked up. There's two settings. One is for regular oatmeal and one is for the steel cut oatmeal. This is really great. I love this. The cord just wraps around the base and you don't even see it. It's wonderful. This is the Hamilton Beach Oatmeal Maker. Okay, now it is time to test this product and we are going to make some oatmeal using our Hamilton Beach Oatmeal Maker. We're going to start with cinnamon, some rolled oats. I'm going to take this apple, core it, peel it, chop it. We're going to put some brown sugar. If you'd like, you can use honey instead. We're going to start by adding one and three-fourths cups of water. Then I am going to add one cup of rolled oats. Now I'm going to add the apples, all chopped up and cored and peeled. Now I put the cinnamon and the brown sugar and a pinch of salt all together and a tablespoon of butter. Now, when you make your oatmeal, you do not want to pass this full line. I'm pretty close to passing it, so I'm really keeping my fingers crossed we don't explode or anything. So you can make up to about, you know, your three cup line. So now I'm going to put some walnuts in it because I thought it might be pretty good with a little crunchy taste. So let me grab my walnuts and sprinkle them on in there. It's easier if I just pour it. <laughs> And then we'll put the lid on and lock it up and turn it on. All right, we're just checking on it right now. It's been cooking for a while. It's making some bubbly noises. Mm, it's warm, but it's not hot. So it's okay for your counter. Now if you're cooking the steel cut oats, you need to soak them overnight. Or at least that's what they suggest. But if you're cooking rice or grits or this oatmeal, then you only use the regular setting. So this is the oatmeal. It smells great. It looks great and I can't wait to try it.